Good evening to all my viewers. As you all know, I'm Tommy and as the first student from UPM. As today I would like to talk about social media. Social media has improved considerably from the past decade to keep track with the current trends. As such, medical professionals have been estimating the use of social media to educate the public on this matter at hand. Today, I'm going to present a talk about the effectiveness of social media in delivering health communication and I fully agree in this topic. I believe that by using social media, we can help more people that have problems in health, in health related stuff. So, uh, without further ado, today's presentation will be divided into three main sections. To begin this talk, the first point that I would like to highlight is how easy it is to be educated on this matter at hand. For users that are always on the go, you can gain new knowledge simply by having have smartphones around. Help professionals use social media to engage in mobile and socialized and socially distributed learning. One review found positive effects from the adoption of educational technologies and listed eight roles that in that tools such as digital learning objects, interactive whiteboards, plasma screens, and learning management systems that play in their developing skills. Research shows that Facebook and Twitter were often chosen by users in meeting others and exchanging information about health concerns, and repeated use to access information and expertise. I've talked about how easy it is to access new knowledge on your smartphones. Now, let's move on to the next point. For my second point, the flexibility of having social media is that it promotes healthy behaviors. According to a study conducted by Mayher, he reported that 90% of the papers they examined revealed significant improvements in health behavior change. Several recent research published from 2014 to 2016 showed that increased interactions on social media triggered positive changes in managing health problems. For an example, networking with colleagues on Facebook seemed to break feelings of isolation experienced by workers, especially those in rural areas. We've looked at the way how social media breaks communication barriers and instead promote healthy behaviors. Now, let's move on to my third and final point. For this point, the easy usage of social media allows healthcare providers to communicate their with their patients. For example, Facebook provides a forum for reporting personal experiences, asking questions, and receiving direct feedback for people living with diseases, and this can fully utilized by healthcare professionals. Text messaging enhances successful engagement between patients and its doctors, and patients use internet-related based interventions to access information and manage health problems. In various researchers, papers revealed that patients and health consumers were using social media to engage in socially supportive activity and conversations. This comes to an end to my point. Let's summarize briefly to what have we now looked at so far. Firstly, I've talked about how easy it is to access new knowledge on our smartphones. Next, we've looked at the way how social media breaks communication barriers and instead promoting healthy behaviors. And lastly, the usage the easy usage of social media for both doctors and patients. Therefore, it is clear that social media plays a huge major role in giving us useful information to reach the masses. Thank you.